That's like a German short hair on point. I don't know. I'm taking it, Brad. I'm taking all it. All right, it's all your call, man. All right. Is he on? Yeah, he's on. Hey, this is Walt Matten. I'm here with Bob Gillespie and Brad Big Cat Durek. We're up here on the Red River. Brad says there's big cats up here, lots of them. And I'd say this is a pretty big cat, Brad. Hey, Walt, you know what I call this? What do you call this? A good start. A good start, yeah. Look at that rod. Look at that rod. It can handle it. You wouldn't think this is unassuming little ribbon of, of water between Minnesota and North Dakota would be a world-class fishery, but it is. It's a world-class fishery for channel catfish. That's some good rod bendage yeah. going oh, on. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, bring him to me. Looks like we need a bigger net. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, All right. Well, that's a good start. Hopefully, we'll see a lot more of these catfish, so stay tuned. I only had a net, man. There we go. All right, what you got over there, Walt? Well, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We're using the Rip and Lip Super Cat Rod, and these are a composite rod of graphite, S-glass, and E-glass. Now, most catfishing rods are made out of either E-glass or S-glass, which causes them to be heavy. These are much lighter, they've got a lot of backbone, and they've give, got a good soft tip on these medium action, they can handle these bigger fish. And the fight is, is a lot more fun. What do we got, like 25, 30 pound test on here, Brad? 30 pound mono. 30 pound mono, high vis, so we can you know, see the bumps and stuff and whatnot, which you know, just adds to the, the excitement a little bit. But yeah, these rods, you can see, you can't break these rods. We could hook them up to the back of the truck. And as long as the reel will winch them up. Got a glow tip on that one? It's got a glow. Oh, oh that's go. a nice in there. Nice. Yep. And you'll notice every one, none of them are going to be gut hooked. They're always going to be hooked right in the old uh, lipperoo there. A lot of places are big bait, big fish. However, I find these one to one and a half inch square pieces to be more effective in the long run because you can get numbers of smaller fish, but the big fish will also take them too. The best way to rig these is the backbone of the fish was there. So if you thread your hook through that backbone, it actually will prevent it from pulling out if a fish grabs it and yanks on it. We're not in heavy current right now, so we're using a three ounce no roll. I mean, there's lots of different sinkers out there, personal preference. What I like to do is use a little piece of surgical tubing and that protects the knot where it connects into your barrel swivel. You gotta have that barrel swivel on because of the current so it doesn't roll and twist up all your lines. Then of course just a nine to 10 inch monofilament leader down to the rip and lips tournament grade circle hook. This stretch of river that we're in right now is pretty much structure free so to speak. It's a lot of subtlety. We've got where we're sitting now, we've got basically a root ball and a slow slope down to the middle of the river and then the main current channel. And even in the main channel, you're only looking at eight to 10 foot deep. So there's not a lot of structure here. So we're trying to find bottleneck areas that are funneling fish through and then trying to head them off. So we're getting the resting fish up by the stump and we're looking for the hunting fish out the channel. That's, that's fish. I'll lay it down. He's got it on. There he's got it on. All right. Isn't it so hard to sit there and wait when the rod just bounces? So You're like, hard. you just want to grab it and set the hook, but you can't. You just got to wait for him. Sit on your hands. Uh, he can't move. He's, he's rising again. Let's see if Brad's yeah. theory is correct. Yep. The, the big ones come up to the top. Yep. The big ones come up to the top. You can really put a bend on these rods. You can really put some pressure on these guides. Yeah, you, know, you look at these guides, they're pretty thin, but these are one piece stainless steel guides. And how many pounds of fish did you catch on these rods last year? Uh, just a hair under 15,000 pounds on six of them. Six rods, didn't even wear them out. That's basically a lifetime Ooh. of fish for an angler. Oh, Ooh. so these rods are built for a lifetime of action. Oh my gosh. These tips glow for night fishing too. Oh, oh look at the size of that fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that might be another 20. Oh my. He's flirting with it. Ooh. Wow, that's a big catfish. There goes my biggest channel catfish to date. Nice, swimming right off. We hadn't, we just switched to this new spot. We hadn't been here, what, 45 seconds? Eh, maybe a minute, a couple minutes. A couple minutes, Brad? Seems quicker than that. All of a sudden, he decided he doesn't want to come into the boat. This I, is a good fish. I thought he was feeling smaller for there for a minute. Here it comes. Oh, no! Oh, yeah. 
Look at that. I do believe we got us a 20 pound tank. Oh. Right there. He is 22.4. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's my biggest cat of the day. Maybe lifetime. <laughs> oh. Look at that. We got another fish on. <laughs> Right in the same shallow water spot in front of that stump that he was saying. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that one. Nice. That's his little brother. That is his little brother, but that's 35 pounds of catfish right, right. there, my man. Man, I tell you, that's a good way to finish up a trip, isn't it, Walt? I'll tell you what. It's too bad we got to go. I could stay here all night. <laughs> and they bite all night, too. Oh, now, that's a cat. And that's a super cat. Oh. We should stay here a while. Looks like we got another bite, Walt. Fish oh, yeah, on. fish on. You want to get that for us, Brad? Oh, we're busy nice. right here. Yeah. So while Brad's dealing with this fish, you guys go to rippinglips.net and check out some of these fine catfishing products. I'm Bob Gillespie. This is Walt Madden. This is Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.